This is breaking news. Jadine Randall's performance in Voice Australia Final. Hauntingly beautiful. Proud Murray singer Jadine Randall has given two stunning performances on the grand final of The Voice Australia on Sunday evening. While the public votes saw fellow finalist Ruben DeMello crown the winner, the 22-year-old, whose childhood dream was to be on The Voice, has won over thousands of hearts while making it from her blind audition all the way to the final, where her singing was spine-tinglingly beautiful. I keep trying to think of at least one cupu to express how I feel at the moment, and the only one I can think of is Surreal. Randall told T.O. Mary News Days out from the final. I'm so grateful, and it's so much like a pinch-me moment. I think going on to the show, getting through the blind audition, that felt like success to me already. The Australian Women's Wiki described Randall's performance of the first of two songs in the final. Walking on a Dream by Empire of the Sun, as a hauntingly beautiful ethereal bullet version of the pop song. She sang it as a doot with voice judge, Australian singer Kate Miller-Heike, who picked Randell and her team for the contest. You know, growing up, I watched The Voice, and I had always dreamed of being on The Voice, but I didn't know that it was possible. And when the opportunity presented itself, I was like, why not? Because you don't know if you don't try. And I hope that by being on the show and doing these crazy things, it inspires others to do the same. Randall sang Snow Angel by young American singer Rene Rapp for her solo performance and likely had her mother and Wanoe watching on proudly. I was able to share the whole voice experience well, most of it with my mom. I grew up watching it with mom. We used to talk about it all the time, like we'd be like, what would your blind audition song be? And so to have the opportunity to drag her along, though she doesn't like being on TV, that was super cool to share that with her. Last week, fingers were crossed across Otira that three Maori might possibly make the final, but Jaden Shingleton, Ngai Tavu, and Letitia Butler, Gapuli, were unfortunately pipped at the semifinal. Even so, it has been a great show of Maori talent by artists proud to be Maori and inspire others to greater things. I'm so proud to be Maori. I'm so proud of my Maritanga, and I feel like I wear that all of the time, Randall told Tio. Randall took to social media after the final to share her aroha with those who had shown her love throughout the show. Well, Ite Wano, I didn't leave at the Voice show with the W tonight, but I feel like a winner nonetheless because of all of you. Thank you so much for all of the love and support you've shown me. I can't articulate how much it means to me. I want you to know that your votes and slash or support won't go down the warity, lol. Music is coming, shows are coming, and my silly personality isn't going anywhere. New tier roha, and thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Soxo.